Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be teaching you guys how to clean your straightening and curling irons. Basically it's the same for both straightening and curling Basically it's the same for both straightening and curling irons. Um, same basic properties apply and I'm only going to do one just to show you guys. Um, so for me, basically what happens is that when you are straightening or when you are curling, you will get this residue or this buildup kind of right here on the iron and around the different ceramic plates or if it's on the curling iron just there. That could be hair residue, that could be um, basically different products that get on the iron. For instance, if you like to hold your curler, curl the hair and then spray it while it's still on there, works great but it'll steam, but then you're going to need to clean it off. So this is going to be how. This is something I purchased from, I believe it was in sicko.com, could be folica.com, I don't know, but it's a styling iron cleaner. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your iron cleaner. And you can take just any paper towel or tissue. If you guys don't have an iron cleaner, you can mix together rubbing alcohol and a very corrosive kitchen dish soap. And make sure you only use a very little bit, mix it together, and you can use that directly on this pad. Um, but I'm just going to spray um, as many times as it takes to wet. And once my iron is completely cool, basically all of the stuff is solidified on there. I'm going to make sure that I wipe in an up and down direction. Problem is I don't want to get anything, that's just paper tissue that left off. I don't want to get anything inside of the grooves, yet at the same time I need to clean the sides because that's where a lot of product buildup happens. Let's see if I can show you guys here. So you guys can see there's those little brown marks. Those are basically the product that's built up on the side. And you kind of have to use a lot of elbow grease with this. Make sure that you really kind of rub it in. But don't overdo it to the point that you're damaging your iron. And with the curling iron, you just want to move straight up and down the barrel. Once you've done that, you want to spray with a plain rubbing alcohol. And I just dipped mine in. And what this is going to do is remove any leftover residue. And this is a new towel, by the way and make sure that we get off any of these old fragments of dust. After this, you're not going to want to heat up your iron for 12 to 6, from 6 to 8 hours, just to make sure all everything kind of evaporates and get off there. Um, and then the next time you use it, you're going to want to use it without products. If you do need to use it in a hurry, wait 2 to 6 hours, heat it up, just to about maybe 120, 150 degrees, and then just wipe again with a very, you know, just nothing on it towel, basically. And that's how you clean your iron. Basically, they'll stay cleaner longer, they will last longer, the ceramic plates won't fade, um, and you'll basically enjoy more longevity of your stuff. So I hope that this helps you guys. I hope that you can use it in all of your hair needs. Um, and if you guys have any other requests for tutorials, feel free to post a comment at the bottom and let me know. Mwah! I love you, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!